My name is Nomi from Letting Life or Letting the Universe. I am a channel and it started four years ago and at that time these voices coming through me it was very from one minute from one second to another they started to speak through me and they called themselves by different names and to summon it up it they said it was uh, the high council of love and light but it is brought to my attention that even though in the beginning stages it was very definite defin, definite i don't know what it's called in english i'm from denmark um it was very distinct this person and this energy field and this the sun god ra and the goddess of isis and <clears throat> some of the um archangels and um ascended masters came through and speaking but it it has gone now by uh, before it it was it started four years ago and it has it's much more dissolved now it's not sometimes they come through like a very distinct experience of being one kind of energy presenting itself like jesus was here one time where it was very overwhelming for me so i had to cry afterwards but oftentimes it is as if it is dissolving into this big energy field of everything that just comes in with different rays of frequencies through me so i cannot say that this is the one person or energy field coming through and also it is much more like it's living in me it's not coming from the out outside in that was my experience from in the beginning it was very much from the outside coming in through this portal that was opened like a channel through my body but now it is much more living inside of me and i am sure i am positively sure that this is for everybody to experience uh, of course everybody experiences it differently but we are bathing in this energy field of everything and we can tune into whatever we'd like. So sometimes it is presented by name and sometimes it's just the flow of the energy of everything. And today I just wanted to sit. It's Christmas Day. It's the 24th of December 2023. And what keeps coming up is this experience of being walking alone but being deeply integrated into everything and words such as there is no path referring to there's no time and space there's no destination there's nothing from and to what we need to or what we are about to or what we are experiencing is that the room itself is opening inside of us. So we are the universe and we deeply can experience it as we sink deeper and deeper into it and allow this to happen for us, with us. And the, the only thing that prevents us from having these very beautiful divine experiences of wholeness in unity consciousness, Christ consciousness. That is our fear or our thoughts about separation or reaching out instead of just experiencing. There is so much reaching out, waiting for, wanting to, but that is, that is within the field of separation from the perspective of time and space. But when we are deeply in the now moment, as the Catholic says or t talks about, there is there's no separation, and we absolutely just are living, breathing, experiencing energy fields of motion. But it's like time stops, but yet. There is motion. I love the term dynamic stillness. 
vital dynamic stillness. It's so enriching and it's so vital. And I must now close my eyes and see if they, the energy wants to say anything into this. And of course we will. The expansion of the soul's journey is one thing. That's on a more personal level where you take in these psychological aspects. But you are also now speaking and experiencing into this Christed consciousness that has nothing to do with the psychological aspects of things. That, that are leaning into this unity consciousness. These higher realms where there are no boundaries. Yet there is still this deep experiencing focus point from within each one of you so that you can experience consciously your process of being alive, being present as kind of a, a way of um, Dwelling so deep into life force itself that you can really, with your senses, both the physical and the non-physical senses, your galactic nervous system we call it, has this capacity that goes far beyond your beliefs. But you can reach this by, as this lady said, not reaching out. But just by experiencing on such a deep level that words cannot point you to it. Only the vibration itself leads you there. So we might put it like this when you have a longing and everybody does. When you have a longing, that's the stream that you must swim with. And then you will experience that the stream doesn't lead you anywhere. There is no end point. But being in this stream where you let yourself bathe in this longing, then you will really sense what it is. You will really allow yourself to sense deeply what the longing tells you. The longing for deep co-creation of deep love, of deep surrendering into all that is, of deep, deep connectedness with everything inside of you and also outside because your consciousness is still experiencing 3D reality. But you are sinking so deep into so many dimensions that has nothing to do mm, directly with the physical and yet it is living through the physical. So take all your longing and love it because that is the way. It's not leading to anything else than what has already always existed in you, by you, through you. I just woke up out of this experience because I have forgotten to put on my microphone, so I don't know what the sound is like. I just cross my fingers and open my heart and hope that it goes well <laughs> because I'm not finished. We, this field of energy consciousness, this resonance room of love and interdependency between all these aspects like stars in the sky, everything woven, woven so beautifully together 
cannot reach one another, all these stars, if they cluster up, it makes no sense. But having the consciousness that you are right where you belong, and that you can see all the other stars, feel them and taste them and touch them, almost as if it was yourself. Yet again, it is just a slight different because it's outside of you. And that is what makes this process of life so exciting. Because you get, you get to feel the longing and having the satisfaction of knowing what it is to really love deeply. And when you cannot stand the longing anymore, you just have to realize to turn the corner inside out. Or should we say the other way around, outside in. It has never anything to do with the outside world, although it seems that way. And yet again, it has everything to do with the outside world because it seems that way. And that is the mind-blowing and a heartbreaking experience. What to do with this non-existing thing that is called eternal love? When everything is so devastating around you. And you can cry your heart out. And you can curse everything and everybody, including yourself. And behind that scene, you cry deeply because you long for existence to be sweet. Because that is your reset button. You are your own reset button. You cannot curse love. That is just impossible. It's like a filter. The madness is... There is a filter that never lets it. Staint love. And that is why the longing is so important for you to celebrate and embrace and live by and live with and live within even though it can be devastating to be there because it feels like it is outside of you but we say once more and we will say it again it's you you are your own experience of longing into love The sweet silence of doors opening in you as if you are raised upon the ashes not by your own will but by life force you are just like Jesus when he died resurrecting and yes it takes time in your reality but from our point of view and you can have that point of view too this non physical point of view you are resurrecting all the time. You are crumbling and you are racing. There is no path. There is only this. The God and the Goddess in you. The beggar and the rich one in you. The male and the female in you child and the dying one in you. 
you are indeed the eternal fetus. Always, always, always. changing into new. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's nothing to fear. You are the stars in the sky. And the stars in the sky are in you. The moon and the sun, the hidden and the seen, it is you. Be prepared to be blown away, ripped into a million pieces, while being collected, connected anew. Allow yourself the process of dissolving and raising again, born anew and anew and anew. The times are new, hmm, even though it has always been. Isn't it amazing? Should we give you one Christmas present? It is this. Love your body. Love your body, your physical experience. Love your life. Let yourself sink into it. Let yourself dissolve in it. Let everything around you dissolve and let life lift you up like phoenix from the ashes. New, we say, new. Beautiful it is, life. And you might say painful it is, life. That is because you lost the perspective in just that moment where we experienced all this happening and got afraid, feared it and felt it like pain. But we say cry, but don't analyze it into being an experience of pain. It doesn't have to. It can be the celebration of life eternally changing as we see it. Therefore, we by heart always say in joy. In all the tumultuous circumstances you experience, there is one thing always behind it all, in all. And you might not um, understand the depth of it because you cannot feel it just right now. But suddenly it comes to you, breaks through you as the sun in the morning. You are free in joy. So this was a long one today. I guess it's fine. It is what it is. Hmm. See you around. We are already here. <laughs>